A lot of people think video editing is hard. The only real pros can stitch videos together, overlay and animate text. It may be challenging in some cases, but having a good video editing program is enough for achieving decent looking results. In this video, I will show you how easy animations can be if you're using Movavi Video Editor Plus. Just open the app and follow my lead. We've all seen those text animations in videos. The text is slowly entering the frame, gradually taking its place, despite looking complex, such animations aren't difficult. It is a common misconception to see text animations as something tricky. But this isn't Mission Impossible and you are not Tom Cruise, so why should it take longer than five minutes? Animations in Movavi Unlimited are perfect for making videos more dynamic, especially if you are creating videos for YouTube. Animate your titles, stickers, overlays, create unique intros and special effects. Now, when you are eager to learn, let's tackle the first animation. Remember when I said about text slow slowly entering the frame. What if something or someone was dragging the text into the shot by its motion? Here's what I mean. A man is walking past the camera in the foreground. His movement is consistent and doesn't change its direction. The perfect subject for the first animation. Let's import this file, click File Import, Add Files, select the file and confirm everything, then just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Now we must add text. Go to the text section you see on the left, basic and simple text. Click on it and just drag it on the timeline like so. By holding down Command or Control and scrolling the mouse, we can see how long each element stays on the screen. Let's shorten the time for the text a bit. Now it's just a blank text. Let's edit the text. Double click on the purple bar. Here we can see all text editing options. First things first, the default text line should go. Now it will say Movavi text transition. As for the color, I can change any color and hue, but I think white is the best one. The font can also be changed. Verdana looks too boring, so let's spice it up a little by picking something more visible, something bolder, like this next. I will also make it a bit smaller. Now I'll move the text block to the center and make it bigger much better. If you want, you can add shadows to the text or the outline, but for me, the shadow is enough. Now click on the more tools, all tools, animation, add animation. The next big thing is picking the keyframes. These little dots basically show when the animation starts and ends. Here I'm tweaking them for the desired animation. I want that man with a backpack to introduce the text, so his movement will be the basis. Now let's position our text in the frame on the first keyframe and the last one. I can change the angle of the text if I want, but there is no need for now. We can use the opacity toggle to add transparency on the start of the animation so it looks smoother. Hit spacebar on your keyboard and check out the results. I think it looks great. The second animation is a famous one. The virtual camera will fly through the ladder into the video. You've seen one of those before a dozen times at least. To do it, you first must create a mask with transparent letters. Go to Import, Backgrounds, and select the black one. Drag it on the timeline like so. Text can be added through text. We'll use the same simple text as the last time. The line will say airport, modern, if you ask me. The text should occupy as much space in the frame as possible. Now we take a snapshot and export it. Next, open a photo editing app from Movavi. Open the snapshot you've taken. We must make the letters transparent. So click on change background manually and just select our letters using the brush like this. Then add it and using the brush just glide over your text. This way you remove the white letters with clean edges and text borders. Click apply, save this file as PNG, now open the video editor plus, clean project. Import the video file and the image with transparent letters, drag the video to the timeline, then drag the text and extend its time. Now you see the layer with letters is overlaid over the video itself. The item you've got is already great for intros and inner scene transitions, but We'll do more. More tools, all tools, animation, add animation. Select your keyframes, now click on the final keyframe and start enlarging the transparent text layer. Make it as big as possible so the letters would take all the screen's real estate. Let's preview what we've got. The letters are slowly moving towards us while growing in size. We're flying through this, the V shape into the video. Looks great to me. To make it cleaner, we should add an unanimated image before the animated one, so it will be more fluent. I say we're done. Nice, clean, elegant animation. 
in less than five minutes. The third animation will be extremely useful for everyone who's trying to create their own YouTube channel. All those small introductions and mentionings last a few seconds on the screen, but they really elevate the quality of your content. The ones I'll show you are created specifically for YouTube channels. I've downloaded them from the effects store. Give it a go, check out what Movavi has to offer. Now, after we've imported a video to the timeline, click on text, library, featured, get more effects. Search for YouTube and download the two packs you see. Now go back to effects store tab and into my channel. Here you can see a variety of animations you can use. Each one is customizable and resizable. Let's use this one with a rounded logo. Just drag it onto the timeline. We already see that your video looks more professional. I will move it to the left so it won't cover my face. I will change the line to Movavi, but you can insert any text, play with fonts, colors, sizes, go crazy. Let's try another one, a link to an Instagram page, for example. Find the one you like in the animation pack and drag it onto the timeline once again. The procedure is the same as with the previous one. Resize it, change the text and everything in a couple of clicks. One more thing I want to show is the banner with plain text. I will take this red one. Let's move it in the upper left corner, make it smaller and fit the text box accordingly. You see, it's so easy. Less than a minute and you have professionally looking text animations. If this way of doing things is natural to you, you should check out Movavi Unlimited. Movavi Unlimited offers you nine programs at one price plus unrestricted access to the effects store. A subscription offers anything a blogger or a YouTuber may require. Video editing, photo editing, screen capturing, file converting, everything in one intuitive and affordable application. You don't need a powerful computer to use it. The one your subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this special offer from our secret page. The fourth trick is more of a life hack than the animation itself. Creating those recurrent animations for each video isn't a time efficient approach. You can create an intro with all banners and pop-ups for any occasion and save them for later. Each time you need them, you would be able to just instantly drag them on to the timeline. To do so, select intro videos from the list on the left and drag new intro onto your video's timeline. To edit that intro, click on the small pencil icon right here, delete the default image and insert a banner from the previous chapter. I'll just copy and paste it. Boom. Easy. Now we have our animation on transparent background as a standalone video piece. Now I just save this intro by clicking on the save icon right next to the pencil from earlier. Type in the name and confirm. Now watch what happens if I drag that intro onto the timeline. I'll just create an additional video track for it and move the intro there. Here you go. No more need to add a pop-up separately each time. Quick and easy. Let's just make a few more edits. I'll open that animation pack and drag one more animation with a YouTube link. Move it to the bottom left corner, resize everything, change the text, the font, and we're done. Save it once again, like, like clockwork. Easy peasy. The last thing is perfect for B-rolls and transitioning. As you can see, I've pasted two videos onto the timeline. Now go to transitions. The button is right above the text you've used earlier. Here you see numerous transitions to choose from. If those ones are not enough, you can get some from the effects store. There are many transitions available. You'll always find something suitable. But I'm feeling artistic today. So I'll click on artistic and choose diffusion. The second variant looks appropriate. So let's use that one. I just drag it in between the videos. The place for the transition is highlighted with a gray outline so you know where to put it. Let me adjust the length of it by pulling these three boundaries in or out a little more. Perfect. Next, go into text and choose the animation you like. I'll use this green one since it suits the video it's transitioning to. It looks very space-like, but it's fine. As usual, just drag it onto the timeline, adjust its placement so it starts a second before the transition itself and ends shortly after. Just like with any animation, we'll change the text and font, quick readjustment of the text position and done. After a few minutes, you have a transition and text animation perfectly in sync. As you can see, text animations in Movavi are really easy to do. Two minutes and you're done. If you want to see more tricks and guides then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one.